Today I'm excited to be here and uh, show you with our uh, recent progress on the integrated photonic, both for silicon photonic and silicon nitride. We have a co-integration platform that we are merging these two platforms together. And I will just touch in this short presentation, uh, in seven minutes you cannot do more, but few applications that we are also uh, looking for with our customers. Uh, very quick introduction of iMac. iMac founded in 1984. We are now plus uh, 5,500 international employee. We are uh, gathering of the team of more than 90 nationalities. Uh, we are working with the big industrial partners uh, for different domains, uh, communication, sensing, uh, CMOS, uh, life science, and uh, as you can see, most of our revenue, big part of it comes from the industrial partner and uh, still part of it also comes from the funded project like EU, European Space uh, Project. Uh, we are very active in this uh, 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 working with industrial partners. Uh, we have uh, more than, we have generated, created more than 122 spin-offs. So this is like a DNA. We are uh, in the R&D, leading on the R&D uh, for the nanotechnology. So we feel that we need to be uh, active on the industrial partner. Uh, we have a, a site in uh, all over the world, but headquarters is in Belgium. In Leuven, you can see the bird eye view of our campus, 300 millimeter, 200 millimeter lines. Also, we have other labs like solar cell labs, bio labs, and we have a site in US, also in Asia. The CMOS line that we have for 200 millimeter and 300 millimeter running uh, as 24 seven, you can see we have a leading gauge, two billion almost uh, investment on the leading gauge technology. We have a, a latest version of, for example, ASML, lithography tools for the CMOS scaling. Coming back to the photonic technology, as I mentioned, we have a two technology, 200 millimeter and 300 millimeter. So I will just briefly introduce this technology. So on the silicon nitride, we have a, a silicon nitride waveguide a, a stack between two silicon oxide. We have a tight process control for this uh, silicon nitride. It, it is it can be PCVD or LPCVD. Uh, for the LPCVD, we have a very good also insertion loss or uh, propagation loss uh, in the C band, also on the visible domain. We have all the uh, basic functionality, as you can see here. The basic building blocks like grating uh, uh, couplers, uh, MMI couplers, ring resonators, and the spectrometer. And uh, we, uh, this is the fully flexible platform. You can just have a, a flexibility in the thickness of the stack, on the material of the stack, opening of the cladding for sensing application, trends for the fiber or hybrid coupling with the laser. We have also advanced platform of silicon photonic that we all also including silicon light as a co-integration. As you can see, this is more uh, complex stack mainly developed for the communication purpose, but we are using this platform also for other applications like a LiDAR, biosensing, with the, all the functionality, active functionality like a photodiode that we have here, uh, modulator we have. Uh, later also I will mention that we are also integrating laser uh, in, this, in the wafer scale in this platform. And the basic building block you can see here. So I mentioned laser integration. This is the new initiative at iMac. We are internally developing this initial result. We have shown uh, we can couple a couple of milliwatt uh, power directly to the silicon, uh, silicon nitride waveguide. As you can see, this is the flip chip bonding technology on the wafer scale, both for 200 millimeter and 300 millimeter. And uh, we are uh, currently aiming for the target uh, below 2 dB uh, insertion loss per facet. And uh, some activities also in parallel for the SOA integration or RSOA integration for the uh, external cavity laser, for example, integration are going on. Hopefully, we are uh, aiming to 
uh, open this platform for the customer in uh, Q2 of next year. On the application, short on the application of integrated photonic, as I mentioned, we are working with the mainly on the communication, but new merging application uh, are uh, uh, coming and they need integrated photonic because of the compactness, because of the scalability, because of the cost reason. And we are, uh, for example, here I am showing uh, uh, optical phase array antenna uh, on SIP that we have developed. This is the 32 channel using integrated detector, silicon detector at 1550 uh, for the calibration purpose. So we have a unzip calibration uh, with the phase integrator before the antenna element that we can just do, look at the interference pattern between two adjacent antenna and uh, generate clear spot and move it in the X and Y direction, as you can see. Uh, also, we are working on the life science using this platform, both silicon and silicon nitride for the life science application. Many applications I already named here. Some of uh, our collaboration already public uh, that uh, companies are using our integrated photonic sensors in their product. And uh, some uh, are confidential here, for example, on the lab on chip microscopy, spectroscopy, OCT, we are active. And the OCT, one slide also I want to show, uh, almost 10 years, nine years ago, we already showed that in using integrated photonic with the mass sender interferometer, you can just uh, do the unzip OCT. And we are now adding functionality like laser and detector in this platform to make it more compact and low cost. Another application is the quantum. We have seen this uh, image of the uh, recent paper from Chinese group showing uh, uh, quantum, use quantum computing using photonic. As you can see, it is more using discrete component, but if you want to make a practical quantum computer, you need to make it scalable. So we believe that using integrated photonic, we can make this happen, especially using silicon nitride, a low loss silicon nitride in 200, 300 millimeter platform. In general, I want to just show this slide, uh, our technology on the silicon and silicon nitride, uh, basic building blocks, uh, the functionality of those uh, building blocks. We are running these uh, both silicon and silicon nitride as a product for more than five years now. And uh, this means that we are working with the industrial partners. And uh, on the application side, we do see, apart from the communication, uh, classical communication, quantum domain, bio domain, microwave, photonic uh, application, sensing, especially on the LiDAR, and also for the gas sensing and the laser integration, of course. <laughs> Last slide that I have here, I wanted to just mention this is about the, the way of working. Uh, IMAC uh, is the R&D center. Still, we can just do prototyping technology development but the difference between us and the academic center, we can go also to the volume production. So we can enable anything that we are developing uh, here with our customer, we can enable them to go to the low volume production. Uh, for example, 1000 wafer per customer per year. And if this volume is low for them, we can do the transfer technology transfer to the foundry, commercial foundry to even go for the higher volume. Thank you.